Every 10 years, states have to redraw their voting districts. In most cases, politicians get to control that process. And if they're clever about how the districts are drawn, they can make it easier for their own party to win more of them. It's called partisan gerrymandering, and Pennsylvania is the latest state to get busted for it. So when you redistrict, there's a phenomenal degree of possible manipulation. Almost any shape you want to make is possible. Professor Cho is a political scientist who developed an algorithm that can spot unfair maps. The court wants to be able to determine the intent behind the district maps. Basically, they want to read the mind of the map drawer. It doesn't have any way to do this. Politicians have to follow certain criteria when they're making a new map. Some criteria are required by law. For instance, we have to have about the same number of people in every district, and all districts have to be contiguous. In Pennsylvania, these districts also have to be compact. Then there's other criteria that the Supreme Court has emphasized when they make decisions about redistricting. The court wants districts that preserve political subdivisions like cities, counties, municipal boundaries. So whenever you find an identifiable community of like-minded individuals, the court likes it when those people are kept together in the same district. Pennsylvania's districts were deemed partisan because of that last guideline. If you look at the 2011 map, the lines are all contiguous and each district has a roughly equal population. But the map also divides up several counties, which violates traditional districting principles. And that made it easier for Republicans to win congressional seats in the state. The popular vote in the House race was basically equal in both elections that used this map, but the Republicans won more than twice the number of seats in Congress. Then a group of voters sued, and the Pennsylvania Supreme Court ruled that the map had to change. This is the new map. The lines are still contiguous, and the population is still proportionate. But now, only 13 counties are split up instead of 28. That protects the traditional districting principles. The Republican Party plans to counter sue, arguing that the new map will favor Democrats. They hope to win as many as five more congressional seats in Pennsylvania because of it. And those seats could be a part of a larger shift in power in the House of Representatives. Which is why the fight over these two maps is so heated. And it's also why Pennsylvania probably won't be the last state to get called out for gerrymandering.